Hi everybody, in this video I am going to explain about the construction and operation of this trapat diode which is the second type of avalanche transit time device. So first let us see what is the full form of this trapat diode. So trapat stands for trapped, trapped plasma, trapped plasma avalanche trapped plasma avalanche triggered transit device triggered transit device this is what the trapat full form okay by seeing the full form itself you can understand that plasma is going to be created in the operation of this uh, trap diode okay plasma is nothing but high amount of current what do you mean by plasma plasma is nothing but high amount of current in this avalanche region so structure is similar to structure is similar to the impact diode such is similar to the impact diode its structure consists of its structure consists of p plus n n plus or n plus p p plus okay that means be that means if you are taking the diode configuration that may be like this p plus n n plus this is one type of construction of this uh, trapad diode or it can also be designed like this n plus p p plus so either of these configurations can be used for the creation of this trapad diode so operating frequency of this trapad diode is so it is operated below 10 giga h below 10 giga h okay more than that frequency we are not going to operate in this it is just operated below the 10 giga h it is a pn junction diode characterized by the formation of the trapped source the space charge plasma within the junction region okay so it is operated it is operated by the creation of plasma by the creation of plasma which is nothing but high amount of current flow it is typically represented by a current pulse generator and the diodes depletion layer capacitance typically represented by a current pulse generator a current pulse generator and the diode the diodes depletion layer capacitance depletion layer capacitance now let us see the construction of this trapat diode so trapat diode as i said earlier there are two different configurations are there p plus n n plus or n plus p p plus so here he has taken a p plus n n plus where a current pulse is applied as the input see here this is the current pulse this is the current pulse previously normally for any diode we are giving a voltage as the input positive voltage to the n type negative voltage to the p type to make the diode in the reverse bias condition opposite is the case for the forward bias condition but in this trapped trapat diode we especially give current pulse as the input source okay this is the current source current source now the 
current flow is given in this direction the current that means the current direction is in this direction like this okay so now based on the application of this current pulse how the um, high amount of plasma is created now i will explain with the explain uh, with the help of graph see this graph plays very important and crucial role in the explanation of this rapid diode okay trapped plasma trapped plasma how the plasma is going to be trapped or created by the application of the current pulse we will see see here the dotted line shown here the dotted line shown here that is the current pulse applied at the input for the diode okay now the voltage is generated in this way which is shown in that solid line current is shown in the dotted line and voltage is shown in the solid line okay now during the positive peak of this current pulse what happens during this positive peak the voltage increases up to certain b up to point b here the each and every stage of this voltage pulse is explained in different different states okay from a to b this particular region the charge developed inside the p and n type because i told you already the depletion capacitance is acting as a charging and discharging for this operation of this trapped plasma diode okay see this loss point typically represented by a current pulse generator and a diodes depletion layer capacitance that capacitance is going to be charged here because of this high current pulse positive peak so during this a to b the diodes capacitance is going to be charged slowly okay that's why it is slowly increasing now from point b to c from point b to c as there will be a charge developed across this one high amount of plasma is created because of the number of charge carriers multiplication is going to be occurred at this particular junction okay we can say this is the junction from p plus to n plus there will be a charge developed nothing but a high amount of charge carrier concentration is going to be done so that charge multiplication is done and the avalanche region is going to be formed here because of that plasma formation is done okay later from the point c to d from the point c to d the same plasma is carried out the same plasma is carried out because the plasma is created and voltage high amount of volt current is generated what about the voltage the voltage decreases okay voltage decreases so as the voltage increases current decreases that we know so as high amount of current increases so the diode simply acts as a short circuit because of the high amount of electrons drifting from uh, either direction suppose if you take here the poles are drifted poles are drifted in this direction and electrons are drifted in this direction okay poles are drifted in this direction and electrons are drifted in the opposite directions actually they are going okay so that's why as in this particular c to d the plasma is still created uh, formed and high amount of current flows now coming to the next layer from d to e d to e plasma is extracted okay that means it starts slowly going down it's slowly going down so plasma is slowly extracted plasma extraction is going to be done in this particular region from d to e now from e to f e to f residual extraction is there see what happens from the d to e region plasma is slowly released plasma is released from this particular b to d b to d plasma is created plasma created now this plasma whatever the high amount of current flows through this uh, uh, junction between p plus and n plus regions that has to be removed now slowly that removal is nothing but plasma extraction is there 
okay that extraction okay from d2e it is happening but still some amount of residual amount of current will be still flowing through the diode that is what e2f is saying okay from this e2f residual extraction is done some residual current will be flowing through the diode now after this f what happens again it starts charging it starts charging and reaches to the normal level okay then diode will comes into normal stable level where the voltage is coming to the initial value okay this all happens during the positive peak of the current suppose if the current goes to the negative peak that current goes to the negative peak it will not affect the operation of the gun uh, operation of this trapped diode that's why uh, the voltage becomes stable the voltage becomes stable but again when the current goes to the positive peak the operation is going to be repeated okay this is what the operation of the internal uh, structure and operation of this trapped diode how the plasma is created depending upon the application of current and how again plasma is extracted and coming to the normal position so this all happens because of the structure what we made p plus n n plus and application of this current pulse okay this is what the trapped diode and its operation